Good to see you, guys. Welcome, welcome. Uh, a little bit of jet lag, I'm told. Uh, a bit, yeah. We, we got um, stuck in Sydney, like in a storm. There was a storm there. Well, they didn't let us go. off there. We just got in. We was two hours late. Well, it's good to see you. Welcome to the show. Welcome back to... How many trips now to Australia for you? Oh, we started in 1973. I guess I, I must have been here at least a dozen times. Mm. Yeah. Well, as I say, it's always great to, to have you here. It's good to be here. Tell us about Denmark, because that's where you're recording now, and indeed, the, the new album. The new album, And it's yeah. got a fantastic... Sound. Thank you. That's so great. what's the story? Well, uh, the people people have been calling me from record companies. Uh, we broke the band up in 1983, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, all the record companies was getting in touch with me, wanting me to do these songs again. And I said, well, I don't want to do those songs again. They've already, you know, been done. So this went on for eight or nine years. They was asking me, and a friend of mine from Denmark... Um, uh, named Benny Bach, who yep. owns CMC Records, called me and he says, Ray, let's don't do them again, let's do them over, like mm. you would do it in the 90s with the 90s technology and everything. And I said, well, that interests me. Yeah. And I said, yeah, well, let's do it. So we went in and, and uh, approached some of the songs uh, in a different way, like uh, we had a lot of guitars in the first band. There was five guitars, I think. So we got rid of some of the guitars, we got some horns. And, uh, and you produced this album, didn't you? Yes, uh, me and a friend of mine named uh, Billy... Um, whatever. The whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, is this the first time you've produced? Billy Cross is his name. Billy Cross, of course, yeah. yes. First time what? First time you've produced? Well, I, I really didn't do all that much producing. I was more arranging. Billy was doing the producing. Like, he, he uh, knows the sounds and stuff. All I do is sing and say, I think it should go this way, mm -hmm. you know? I remember when you first came to Australia with the, with the band, with Ray and the team, I don't think you blokes fully realized just how big you were in Australia. We never realized that anywhere because it, was, it, was, it just didn't seem possible, you know, that we was uh, doing all these things. And I still look at it in a fantasy way. I, I, I just, it happened, but I don't believe it. How did the band start? Uh, well, I was in Mobile. I was born in Mobile, Alabama, and I had a car wreck in 1967, and I started wearing the patch. And I got better from the car wreck and went to New York and went to work in this little bar with me, Billy Francis, and George Cummins. That was the three of us from the original band. And we didn't have a bass player. And Dennis came in, and, and uh, I asked him, could he play bass? And he lied and said yes. <laughs> and we gave him the job, and that's where it started. So what's the, what's the true story with yourself and Ray? Are you, are you still friends? With Dennis. Oh, about Dennis yeah. himself? You know, everybody does that. Everybody calls me Dennis and him Ray. Well, we're still friends, yeah. We're, you called me Don once, so I, I feel as if... Did I? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have done that. But are you still friends? Yeah, we're friends. We don't see each other that much anymore. Uh, I talk to him every once in a while, and he's just doing his own thing. The last I heard, he was doing a one-man play on Off-Broadway, a, uh, a play that Shel Silverstein had written for one person. Mm -hmm. And that's the last I heard, uh, 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 other than being in the studio, I heard that he was back in the studio right. doing some stuff. So basically, you have gone your own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we did. Are you did. happy with that? Um, yeah, he was a friend, you know, he was a real dear friend. We was together for 13 years. Was there a blow-up, right? No, no, there wasn't. We just said... That's it, you know, it, it, it got to be, um, in the very beginning, we was playing our own music, you know, and, and everything in the studio, and then in the mid-70s, they came up on a formula and started bringing in studio musicians and yeah. playing the tracks, and we'd just come in and sing and go back to work, and mm -hmm. it wasn't that much fun anymore, and that's mainly the reason that it broke up. That happens so often. By the way, congratulations, Aranorda, you've become a grandfather. Yes, well, sir. there you go. Tell us all about it. Well, uh, her name is Raylan. And that means that, that Linda, is a, you're married to a grandmother. Exactly. Yes, that's true. <laughs> I would have to tell her How that. She feel I don't about think she it? knows that. There she is. We was in uh, Holland there mm -hmm. on a little uh, vacation. And your daughter's name is, is Amy? Amy. Yeah. Uh -huh. And Casey is my son. Well, there oh, you go. Oh, that's Amy. Yeah. yeah. Let's you. have a look at the baby now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here's the baby. And oh. there is Brian and Amy and mm -hmm. the little baby's father. And there she and there is. There she is. And what's her name? Raylan Marie. Let's hear it yeah. for her. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. I'm already rehearsing her. She's, she's getting ready to go on She's going to get into the yeah. band, is she? She's going to play tambourine and... Um, actually, you mentioned your son before, whose name is... Casey. Casey. He's actually in the band quite often, isn't he? Yes, he is. He uh, just turned 16 years old, and he's been playing percussion with the band. He went to Austria and Norway and Denmark. 
and uh, he's been many times in Canada and the United States with me. But he plays percussion when he's not in school. And the reason he's not touring this time, of course, he's in, in school. school. Yeah, and yeah. he's that good too, Bert. You know, a lot of people take their kids up. On, I wouldn't have him up there, but he is really good. I know you well enough to realize if he wasn't good enough, he wouldn't be in the band, <laughs> no. would he? No, he couldn't. <laughs> no way, no. no. There's a story about Alice Cooper that oh, I've been asked to uh, ask Alice. you about. It, it, it was the weirdest thing, like, uh, we played three or four shows with Alice, we'd open for him, and one of the strangest bills that you've ever heard in your life was Donnie and Marie, Dr. Hook, and Alice Cooper for right. one show. <laughs> now, can you imagine that? What a ripper. Anyway, Alice, uh, we got to be quite good buddies. We played, like I said, we played together a few times, and uh, once while we were talking, I had just finished the show, and he was uh, getting ready to go on stage. His band was already up there, and we were standing just talking. And uh, he said, Ray, he said, I saw you on the David Frost show and said, you've got to be the weirdest guy I've ever seen on TV. <laughs> he said that. <laughs> and I said, I said, Alice, look in the mirror. I said, have you ever looked at yourself? That's With wonderful. his snake, he had these eyelashes out to here, hair out like this, and uh, a brassiere, had on a brassiere, <laughs> and, and had on uh, some kind of uh, stocking things with... Oh, diamonds cut in them, and yeah. oh, oh, that's it, was, a beautiful it was strange, line. but he says, I'm weird. What are you going to sing for us this morning? Uh, Sylvia's Mother. What? That was your first one? That hit, was the that? first one, and I thought it would be appropriate. Well, Ray, it's terrific to have you back in Australia, as I say. You're going to sing for us in just a few moments' time. We've got some dates which we'll give to, but it's just lovely to see you again. Great. Thank you, Bert. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. Ray Sawyer, Dr. Hook, and he'll sing for us right after this break.